I think I had a bit of an advantage in some respects because my father passed away at a very young age. We were a very poor family, and I ended up in an orphanage. Uh, my family, my mother, simply couldn't afford my three sisters and myself. Uh, so one thing led to another, and in the third grade, I was sent off to a free school for fatherless boys in Philadelphia, and the school became my legal guardian. And that's where I lived from that point through high school. I say I had an advantage because we went to class from 8.30 till 4.15 every day. <laughs> that was one way to contain <laughs> the boys. As a result of that, it was May 6th grade. We, we jumped from 6th or no, 7th grade, excuse me. We jumped from 6th grade to 8th. 8th grade was the upper hall, as we called it. And beginning in 8th grade, we were introduced to public speaking one day a week. One class a week, every week, from 8th grade through our senior year of high school. And we learned all the intricacies of public speaking, writing, preparation of speeches. Obviously, at that time, there were no teleprompters. Every month, we had to give a speech in front of the class, uh, well presented, outline different models of speaking. So it, that's how the journey began. And what it did, more than anything else, build tremendous confidence as a speaker to very easily get up, stand in front of a group of people, and just begin speaking, whether it was arbitrary or ad-libbing, or, or just, it, it made it, it gave everyone a lot of confidence, it certainly gave me a lot of confidence, and I never had the fear that so many younger people have the first time they get up in front of someone. 